Have you ever been so excited to learn a skill or some new knowledge that it just seems like there's not enough hours in a day? Like you want to learn this and you want to learn that and you want to learn a little more about this and take your knowledge to the next level on that. It's just you don't have enough time. So how do we, how are we able to learn all this rather quickly? How can we fold time for ourselves? My name's Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design. And today, our video is about the three most powerful ways to learn anything fast. So I want to be able to share with you the three tools, the three tips or strategies, whatever you want to call it, that I personally use when I'm learning or trying to learn something new rather quickly. So let's jump on in. And speaking of jumping in, that's the first one. The first thing is you have to jump in. You have to get in the game. See, if you're going to learn something, you got to get into it. Right? Whether it's stocks, whether it's um, real estate, whether it's a relationship, whether it's about you know doing better in your health or getting you know your body in the right shape, like you got to jump in. You got to get into the game. See, right now I'm learning about stocks. I'm learning about options. I'm learning about cryptocurrency. <laughs> I'm learning about real estate, right? Or at least I'm going to that next level in each of them. And it was ironic because as I make this video today, I I screen share. I zoom. I did a Zoom call with a friend of mine who, you know, a long time ago he was a client and he was just learning the stock game, and now he's like he blows my mind with what he knows. And so, anyway, we jumped on Zoom. I showed him my portfolio. I was like, "What does this mean? What does that mean?" Right? And so I, but I'm learning because I'm in the game. So what does being in the game mean? It means you got to listen to things. You got to be doing those things. You got to be studying those things. So, for example, I'm. Really reading about a certain stock, right? And then I'm listening to other mentors. I'm hearing what they say on the news. I'm hearing what my mentors say. I'm part of a group chat. And so we get, I dive in, I ask questions, right? And I'm trading, I'm buying, I'm selling, right? I'm in the game. If you want to learn something, you got to jump in. You got to have that experience. Otherwise, it's all intellectual, right? It's all just this cognitive learning that you do. You never get it like into your nervous system, into your body. And so I always like to share with clients, it's like this. If I told you, if I told you how amazing sex was, you'd be like, oh, okay. But it's a whole nother thing when you actually have that experience. Wouldn't you agree? if you've been down that road, right? And so it's a whole nother experience. So you won't truly understand until you have that experience. So you get in and buy property, till you buy and sell a stock, till you buy and sell crypto, till you get in the gym and work out hard or change your diet. You won't understand until you jump in. So the first one is you gotta jump in the game. The second one is you gotta double up on your learning modalities, right? We all have five modalities, right? We have sight, the way we you know obviously see something, hear, taste, smell, and feel, right? Like those are the five senses. And so we have these different modalities. But the quickest way that I found when I'm learning something is to use multiple modalities. Now, if you're studying something like real estate, finance, um, you know, nutrition, workouts, it's best to not only I like to, my first choices because I, if I drive to the gym, I love to listen to it. So I use the auditorial modality to help me. But usually if I'm sitting in my office and I want to learn something like really important, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to listen to the audio book, but I'm also going to take the book and I'm going to use it, right? I'm going to sit through it and I'm going to underline stuff that comes in. So I'm, I'm re, I'll read Money Master the Game by Tony Robbins. I'll read Brandon Bouchard's High Performance Habits. I'm listening to it. I'm reading it. I'm underlining it. Uh, Expert Secrets with Russell Brunson. And then as I'm listening to it, if something stands out, I hit the pause button, I'll underline it, and then I'll take a highlighter and I'll highlight it because those are the mo most important parts. So now I have that visual that's coming in. I'm hearing the audio. I'm not tasting or smelling or feeling the books, or hey, I guess I could feel the books, but you're not gonna learn by feeling that, right? But you wanna be able to use as many modalities as possible. So if I'm learning about, you know, like, I don't know, let's just say horses. I'm gonna listen to a book on horse. I'm gonna read it and see it as I'm reading it. And then I may actually go out and see the horse, feel the horse, smell the horse. I'm certainly not gonna taste the horse, <laughs> right? But you're gonna have all those modalities to get a deeper understanding, just like in my example of having sex, right? So how can we double up or triple up on our modalities or more? 
And the third and final one, this is my favorite by far, is you don't know something unless you can teach it. So if you wanna learn a new skill or learn some a certain knowledge, I highly recommend teaching it. And Albert Einstein said, I have the quote right here, if you can't explain it to a six-year-old, you don't understand it yourself. So what he's saying is if you can't simplify it for a six-year-old to truly understand and digest it and go, oh, that makes sense, then you don't really know it. So I do this with clients a lot at a time and I do it personally. Heck, I'm making these videos here, but I literally will record myself. It could be audio or I like to do video, but it could be either or where I record myself just teaching, right? And I like to just allow whatever that comes out, comes out. If I screw up, mess up, who cares? But I like to practice over and over and over because then it allows my message to get more fine tuned over and over the more you do it. And so with that being said, you want to be able to teach it. So the more that you can teach it and you can refine it and fine tune it, the more you're gonna be able to learn that skill or knowledge a lot quicker, right? So if I was learning carpentry, right? Or if I was learning, you know, uh, how to put on a roof on a house, I would teach someone how I do that. And I may even make a video on that while actually doing it. So I have the physical practice while I'm teaching it, right? And so the more you do that, the easier it's going to be for you to succeed and learn anything fast. So as we wrap up here, let's just do a real quick recap. First one is you gotta jump in, right? You gotta be part of it. You can't wait. If you you wanna learn real estate, go jump in, go, at, go talk to a lender, an agent, go buy a house, right? You know, do some due diligence first, right? <laughs> but you got to jump in. The second one is double up on your modalities because if you're going to learn, you might as well listen. You might as well read the books all at the same time so you have different modalities to help you learn quicker. And then the last one is you have to be able to teach it. Simplify. Keep it simple. If you can take something so complex and make it so simple that a six-year-old could understand, then you know your stuff. If not, then you need to teach it a little bit more and practice it. So so those are the three ways that you can be able to learn anything fast. They're the most powerful ways. I use all of them. I share them with my clients. And if you use them, you're going to find that you're going to be able to rapidly learn this new skill or tool or knowledge, whatever it is that you're looking for, a lot faster. And then the rewards come after that, right? So with that, I'm going to wrap up this video here. But I want to real quick say... Thank you to Matthew and Natalie Wood, to Pedro Ortega and James Weiss. These are a couple new subscribers. I just want to give shout outs to those that are subscribing. I'm going to do my best as, a, uh, as people subscribe, but as things go further and more people all at once, it's going to be a little bit harder. But hey, if you like the video, subscribe. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Have you used these strategies before? These are some of my favorite. If you have, let me know if there's something different. Please put it in the comments below. Would love to know that. Maybe we'll make a video on what you shared and I'll give you a big shout out there. So with that, please subscribe. And remember, we're doing three videos a week here. So areas of relationship, business and finance, and personal development. So I'm going to be sharing with you a lot of my best tips, tools, and strategies. I'm going to share with you, you know, some of the things that I use in my personal life and my clients that have extreme success so that we can be able to master all the categories of our life. And so we'll share more about that. And if you're one of those people who are struggling, you need a breakthrough, you need something, go ahead in the comments below in the description. There's an application page where you can click on that for to fill it out, that application application for one-on-one -on -one coaching to either work with myself, my gorgeous wife, or one of our powerhouse coaches so that you can be able to break through, go to that next level, whether it's to take your business from seven figures to eight figures, whether it's to master your body, or even take your relationship to that next level, or even get it into a relationship. Whatever it is, go ahead and fill it out, that application. So with that, I'm going to wrap up. My name is Joe Moffitt. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great one. Talk to you soon. See ya.